Hello, thanks a lot for stopping by How To Cook Great. Now if you like what you see, there's over 3,000 other cooking videos on our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you. Okay, let's get on with this one. Hi, how you doing? I'm going to cook some cow today. Now, a lot of people really dislike cow. I love it. Now, this we're going to cook with garlic and ginger, a little bit of sesame oil. It's absolutely delicious. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, let's take a look at this. Very, very simple. So, look, I've got my cow here and I've shredded it up. I'll show you what I've done with it just in a moment. Just over a cup of onions just under a cup of celery, which is optional, but I like that in there. Half a cup of soy, soy sauce. I'm using a light one. You could use dark if you want. And then garlic and ginger. You can put as much of this in as you like. That's gonna be our big flavor. So I've got like three tablespoons of garlic and maybe, well, just over of the ginger. Cut it into sticks like that. But that's about it. We're gonna start us off with some oil, a little bit of seasoning, but let me just show you the kale. Okay, here's a bunch of kale. There's two of these in there, by the way. Now look. I've got rid of all of this stalk, which is fine. If you're making a kind of stewy type thing, you can actually cook it away. But yeah, I've taken it all out and I've taken it all the way up as well. The stalk goes all the way up, gets thinner at the top. But yeah, I've got rid of that because for stir frying, a little bit woody. There you go. So we're going to need a large pot or a wok or something like that. I've got in there some oil. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could be using a different oil. I'm going to put a little bit of sesame oil in it a bit later. Now I'm getting that nice and hot. In goes the garlic. In goes the ginger. And like I say, plenty of garlic and ginger for this. Optional bit of celery. I think it's great in there. And just over a cup of onions. Keep it on a high heat. Keep it moving. I'll be back in about three or four minutes. Okay, fantastic. Next up, it's time for the kale. In it goes, shredded quite thin. And we're gonna stir fry this around now for five or six minutes. It will reduce down as it cooks. So be careful at the beginning here. So you can see this is reduced down as it cooks. We're now gonna add a nice big pinch of black pepper and salt, not so much salt because we're adding the soy, half a cup of soy sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Stay on the high heat and go for another four minutes. Delicious. Okay, fantastic, off goes the heat. Now, a little bit of sesame oil, nice kind of nutty flavor you're gonna get in there. Now, the reason I don't start it off with it is you're gonna just burn it off. So I like to add it just at the end. That is super fab, I love that. Okay, and there you go, just really simple, nice and delicious, I really love it like that. I've just put a little bit of green onion or spring onions on the top. Fabulous stuff, nice and easy. Hope you enjoy that, keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are, there's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Togalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia, but check it out because she really, really is fantastic. 
I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love. Thank you.